we had the 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 challenge of making sure we were also had a huge uh, so investment in um, our EDW is on SQL Server, and we had a huge investment on analysis services, and we needed to find something that actually bridges the analysis services and then all of this uh, new and other um, uh, IoT and all of those uh, information that was coming through uh, in the organization. Um, then it was a thing of visualizations. Now in our company, uh, Excel is still king. Um, and um, what actually happened is that um, we had to also find something that gives an Excel experience. And we also had to understand how do we bring all of it together? Uh, our manufacturing um, arm, uh, for example, has got a huge amount of um, systems and uh, processes that's um, still being done in Excel and how to bring all of that Excel and um, standardize and curate that data um, into um, the environment and making sure that we actually go forward. And, and also the whole of driving the uh, just to see how do we actually start to drive the organization towards um, um, having the visualization experience dashboards and, and visualizing data. Uh, I think one of the big things for us was that we, we it's, it's sort of a, um, we need to, needed to, to start to, to teach the organization how to go there and that you could actually use your, um, your dashboards, but also to have uh, a, a platform that does hybrids that actually can have your um, dashboards or your visualizations with a grid that actually could just um, you know enhance the um, or explain some of the things. So it was very important for us to actually start driving that. And um, a, a huge um, we, we part of our um, uh, what we had to do was uh, bring our finance data together with all of our other um, uh, data sources and all our other systems. Um, our finance system is on SAP, and we've got our ERP system on Oracle, uh, the EDW is on SQL, um, and there's a few other things. And then we've got obviously the, the cloud sources now as well. Um, and, and, and for that, the, with this disparate data sources that we've got across the organization, was a challenge for us to bring it together and actually driving um, to see that. Um, it is actually starting to gain momentum now in the sense that we actually are seeing um, that we've got bringing data together from this multiple platforms um, and that we actually could use, um, for example, on BW for HANA, we are actually using the, the, data, the work that's been done by the, the finance systems team that they've already um, done for um, their finance um, community. We are now bringing that together um, into uh, our platform and we actually are then um, using Pyramid to actually bring this all together and actually starting to show our, um, our um, data together. Um, and also to en enable cloud access um, to also straddle the, the whole hybrid scenario for us. Um, in my from our point of view, we must probably, um, it, it will take us a, a, a while, although it's being pushed by, by what's just happened. Um, it's uh, with COVID, it's being pushed a lot to, for us to have uh, to go to the cloud. But uh, for me, it would be a step, we would actually must probably go to a, um, to a hybrid solution first um, and um, to see how we could actually do that and start to bring those, um, all of those together. Um, then step change. I think the big thing was that with COVID and with the uh, having to almost in a very short time having to change into an omni retailer, um, that's um, being huge for us. Uh, and to actually start to bring these all together and to actually start to bring uh, all the data and things together. So, so we had to find a way to actually, um, and I say, uh, give them data and let them play. Um, the, the thing is that um, so many um, people are just using at the moment, just using Excel, they're downloading uh, a Power BI um, desktop, and they just want to actually just take the data, wrangle the data. But a lot of it's still being done in Excel, pulling all the data, then going to pivot it. And, uh, you know, to a certain degree, some people then actually use of the, um, the um, graph functionalities in 
in Excel to actually give a visual visual, visual experience. Uh, but but it's been huge for us to actually be able to con not control, but to actually give them the opportunity to use our data sources, bring in new data sources, um, and in a um, sandbox environment to actually curate these new data sources and bring them together with, um, with our data. And then the one thing that's huge for us is then govern accordingly. Now, this I say this with great trepidation because um, sometimes you know if you if you let if you let the, uh, let them loose, they it's very difficult to come back into control. Uh, but it's actually a case of that we um, so. But we are actually then giving certain um, standardizations or or uh, not rules, but uh, things that we would like to see in things how to govern it. Um, and with that, we work with the departments and actually making sure that they understand, you know, what is the, the process that we would actually uh, want to follow for them to actually have data and to actually um, get, um, get that. So, so yeah, so we, we actually have been, have managed through all of this to really bring data together, um, also uh, doing it faster. One of our, our Achilles heels was that we would bring data to the to the to our customers and our users uh, in a very slow manner, uh, and that just is not um, uh, feasible anymore. So to actually start to actually um, do a pilot or a just a uh, run with well, run with a application or data uh, in 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 a in a sandbox environment or even in a uh, environment where you bring all the data together with 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 pyramid and then actually taking those data and then actually uh, taking that if you have to taking it into the enterprise data warehouse uh, to be able to work with the rest of the, the uh, organization state so yeah that is that is what i have for this morning thank you very much Thank you very much. Um, yes, yeah, so I'll talk a little bit about the um, whole area around uh, maturing your analytics and data environment. And um, a lot of it focuses around, and there's been a lot of studies around how decision making takes part in particularly the larger organizations. And it relies almost entirely upon a collaboration, which in many cases has been a, um, a transient thing and something which happens informally. You know, we all hear about you know, the water cooler type conversations. And this is often when you hear something interesting about what your colleagues or somebody who's heard something about somebody else doing. This is where I hear about it. What we need to look at in terms of developing that maturity is to look at how we can more formalize the approach, how we can embed and synthesize the handling, the understanding of my data, the sharing of analytic conclusions in order to more uh, accelerate and make more accurate that decision making process. So there's been a number of studies done of this over the last few years, and I picked out one of those from the uh, Howard Dresner, the, the uh, Dresner Advisory Services. Uh, and every year they do a fairly significant survey of companies across the world of various different sizes, looking at particular topics. And one of those was the importance of self-service BI around organizations. And particularly here what pulls out of this, which is around how people can better uh, collaborate in terms of what it is they want to achieve from their analytics and how to great, uh, gain that greater understanding of, of what's actually going on. So there's two kind of parts of this. The first, which is looking at how, how do we actually give, as Jan was saying, giving people data and let them play with it, which is effectively that self-service, data discoveries, uh, data analysis capability. But then more importantly, perhaps, is what I then do with the results that I gain. So first off, you have to say I've established, well, is self-service analytics and business intelligence important in 2020? Uh, and in fact, uh, in his survey recently, 62% uh, of business say it's essential. Not just important, not just quite important or very important, but actually essential. 
So this study was conducted in 2020, and the Ray, as well as that self-service capability, what kind of falls out of that? And the two key pieces of came out of the research was first of all that a lot of the self-service was needed to have a strong governance. So I needed to have a goal in terms of, okay, I can give the data to my users, I can let them play with it, but I also need to, as Jan was saying, put my governance controls in perhaps after that fact. But nevertheless, I do need to do that. And one of the ways that I can drive the collaboration, the content creation and sharing across the landscape is as part of that governance program. As Jim Erickson said, in fact, when you look at this from a corporate size point of view, we see that the collaboration piece, which is kind of easy to expect, it tends to increase with organizational size. You know, if I have a specialist analytics firm of 100 people, it's quite easy to informally share and collaborate and reuse content. When I grow to 1,000, to 5,000, to 10,000, to 50,000, it becomes much, much more difficult for those informal um, channels of communication to actually deliver the right information to the right people and have everybody aware of what's important to their business. We also need to do this in a governed fashion, as he says, and as Jan was saying as well, we have you know, a, a multitude of data sources, a huge amount of information. So as I start to give information and data sets to people to play with, I need to then enforce that governance to be able to get the right data to the right people, that right people see the right data, but then also provide this an environment where those sort of created interesting analyses and insights can actually share those more easily with people around the organization. So one of the things that came out of that in terms of uh, function, and again, as the survey looks at this from the company size, by geography, by market sector, and so on, we haven't got time to look at all of this. So I've picked out some of the ones by function. And this is a really interesting one, which is that um, it's almost an inverse of what you would expect. Um, we see that you know product development teams, uh, people in research and development and manufacturing areas where I'm actually creating products and I'm then developing those and taking them to market. These people already have a, a strong idea of collaboration because it, it, it's simply required in order to be able to get the job done. As we go down through the various different categories, though, we see finance and the business intelligence competency centers, the next up. And as we move down, what's kind of surprising is that marketing and sales gives it actually the, the lowest, the lowest rate of importance. And that's kind of surprising, really, because you'd think that what, what marketing is all about is about creating messages, it's about delivering those messages both internally and externally and sharing information so that everybody understands you know, how we're representing the company, how we're taking our products to market, et cetera. So weirdly, it's one of the lowest ones. And I think though, even then, if I look at their combined critical and very important scores, it still adds up to, to around about 70%. But it's interesting for me from this point of view is, is that you think, you know, when we engage with our customers, it's often thing that the marketing area, which is one of those people that want interesting in the analysis uh, and want to analyze their data to better understand their markets. And yet from a survey point of view, they seem to be well down on, on the level in terms of wanting to actually share that information with anybody else, which is one of the strange uh, conclusions coming out of this survey. But either way, we see that you know, this is important from an uh, organizational point of view across the different functions, uh, and also from a uh, requirements point of view. What is it that people want to do to be able to share, to be able to collaborate, to be able to reuse content? And again, as we go out and, and looking at the larger organizations, it's trying to find the stuff that I need, which is actually what drives a lot of that collaboration requirement to be able to search for content, navigate for content, and also the ability to annotate my resulting analytics with commentary, to be able to engage in a kind of real-time messaging conversation around that. What that allows me to do is to bring my qualitative assessment of my analytic content to bear, 
because not all uh, interesting uh, results of analysis can be explained from within the data itself. There are things that influence my performance as an organization, which come from outside of my organization in terms of market pressures and developments, uh, and which I wouldn't necessarily know about unless I put that qualitative information alongside my quantitative data. These top three feature requirements in terms of searching, navigation, commentary, annotation, have actually remained consistent in the survey since 2018. Uh, which is an indication when these things don't skip about in terms of their importance, is an indication that this is becoming slightly more mature in terms of the market segment itself. So to conclude there, you know, when, I'm, when the, we look at the whole survey in it, it, itself over the last few years, uh, we've seen that that collaboration around my analytics and business intelligence continues and there's been an uptrend, what he calls an, uh, an uptrend of criticality over time i.e. this particular instance and this particular requirement has, has increased in performance every year for, since 1916. And that high, that's, was, that's probably the spike in that trend occurred at that point and has not reversed in the four years since. Just before I finish off, just to give an indication of what, what does this kind of stuff look like? Well, I may be looking at my dashboard, for example, and I'm wanting to be able to comment and annotate on the content that I can see. So I may be looking at trends through time, for example, of my profit and returns, for example, and then I may want to be looking at any particular data point, and I may want to start a new conversation around this. So I may want to comment in terms of my latest numbers are going south. You know, we need to understand why. And I can then uh, annotate that particular item, but I may want to engage then in a group discussion around this or send that to a particular user and at the same time take a snapshot of that particular item. We can then also look at this in terms of my overall capability in terms of this. I can go in here, I can uh, look, analyze this further, I can look at more understanding about this. But if I switch over to my other user, and maybe I want to go and look at my uh, comments and analyses, for example, on here. And if we look at my conversations, we can see then I've got some information on here in terms of my information. So we can see the latest numbers, or should be numbers there, obviously. So I can say, uh, yeah, you know, let's discuss soon or whatever, and start to engage in that conversation. Or additionally, I can go straight to that particular view in terms of understanding you know, what that is and actually load up that particular analysis and see it as we need to. In terms of my search, of course, as well, we can also go and look at this information. Uh, I guess it's taken me straight into my dashboard, as you can see. Uh, in terms of my search, we can open that up and we can look at that. So actually, I'll leave the search for now because we're running a little short of time. But hopefully this gives you an idea of you know, how I can approach that collaborative environment, be able to share, annotate, comment, navigate, search for content, and make that available across the business that I need to see that information.